Were you the one making all that noise? I've got a license to kill. Gladys Knight, baby, sang the song for this movie. Welcome to the filming locations of James Bond, 007's License to Kill. Created in 1989, this was the 16th James Bond film, filmed right here in Key West and also Mexico City. But we're gonna track down the Key West locations today. We're gonna compare them to then and now and see where those locations are and where they fit in today. I'm excited to do this. I'm a big fan of James Bond and I dedicate this video to all you Bond fans out there. Out of the two movies that Timothy Dalton played Bond, I like this one the most. It was a unique Bond film. He was out for vengeance. It was not business. It was personal this time. This movie also had a lot of actors that was from TV and other movies. It was kind of an all-star cast. You had Carrie Lowell, Robert Davey from The Goonies, Benicio Del Toro, and also Wayne Newton made a cameo, and Priscilla Barnes from Three's Company. The list will go on. For our first 007 filming location, we come to the Basilica of St. Mary, Star of the Sea. This church was home of the wedding between Felix and Priscilla Barnes in the beginning of License to Kill. Actually, James Bond and Felix parachuted down from that plane after capturing Franz Sanchez, Robert Davy. They parachuted right down here and met the rest of the wedding congregation, and then Felix, Priscilla Barnes, went inside and got married. You actually didn't see the wedding scene though. As James and Felix are parachuting down to meet the rest of the wedding congregation and the bride, you see a brief moment right here. See the parachute on the right and the right steeple of the church to the left. And that tree's still there. This is about the same spot. And right here in this moment, you have McRae, Dalton, and Barnes. Notice the window right behind Sharky's head there and the column. And also, the iron fence in the back behind that old lady. In between the palm and the old lady, see that? Okay, here we go. Here we go today. About right there. James Bond stood right here. I kind of did a Connery there though, not a Dalton. Hey, wasn't there supposed to be a wedding here today? I dressed up for nothing. But I always thought it was funny that they didn't detach their parachutes before walking into the wedding. They both walk in side the church with the parachutes on dragging them behind notice the red carpet and that little island thing in the middle of the tree not there anymore and here's the view that you don't see in the movie the wedding party would have walked into the door right behind me into the church of course but this is what it looks like and across the street a bed and breakfast the mermaid and the alligator looks pretty cool but yep license to kill Fun fact, this church was the first Roman Catholic parish in South Florida. Present day Conk Republic Seafood Company restaurant and Conk Bar served as Wavecrest Warehouse, the bad guy's lair, and license to kill. This is where that scene went down with the shark. So when Bond and his friend Sharky come back to the warehouse, they would have came in by boat underneath this dock here don't think it's the same dock, but this is pretty much the same location. It leads right up to the warehouse. And here's the widest angle of the warehouse you see in the movie right before James and Sharky come up the dock. And then look at the dock. It's more to the left. So that means this dock is newer than I'm standing on. But the peak of the roof there matches up pretty well. To the right, that portion has been added. It's been addition to. And if you look closely, you can tell that it's been expanded. But yeah, this is about the same camera angle. More like this that you saw in the movie. So supposedly the actual interior scenes did happen in here. Notice it's wide open right now. It's a little early. No one's eating inside. Actually, it's not open yet. But the rafters look very similar to the movie. I paused it here where the security guard is seen from above, check out the beams behind them, the rafters. Notice the color. And I think that staircase would have been back there in the back of the restaurant. But yeah, so much has changed in here. I don't think there's any drop floors with sharks in here, that's for sure. 
There's a cool boat hanging over there though. From the security guard's viewpoint, behind James Bond there, you can make out that building. That building is actually Jimmy Buffett's recording studio. And here it is today. Look at that. You can make that out clear as day. Not much has changed, except there's a lot more stickers. And the funny thing is, I've eaten at that restaurant three times in the last 15 years, and I had no idea that License to Kill was filmed there. It blew my mind. It all clicked together when I was doing these filming locations, when I was researching them. Gotta be quick with this next filming location because it is at a United States Coast Guard base, Sector Key West. When Sanchez is arrested in the beginning and interrogated, he's brought here to the United States Coast Guard base. And much has changed there. The building, the interrogation building you see in the movie is long gone. But this is when the vehicle exits the gate and comes right here to the left down this road and Sanchez was taken out to the seven mile bridge where he was rescued by his villains. Looks like someone ordered some uh, coffee. Hey, now I know how I can get in next time. Just pretend to be the coffee dude. We got the same scooter. But yeah, this is where the those scenes were filmed inside this base. All right, now to get back on my scooter head to the next filming location. Well, this is a beautiful cactus just sitting on the side of the road in Key West. And it's flowers that bloom. That is beautiful. Just had to show this. It's sitting in front of our next filming location. 7-Eleven Eisenhower Drive. Present day Thai Island restaurant and Happy Buddha Bar. But this was the filming location for the Barrelhead Bar and License to Kill. Both interior and exterior scenes were filmed right here. And this is where they had that shootout between Timothy Dalton, Carrie Lowell, and Benicio Del Toro. And here you go. From the still shot of the movie, this is about the same angle. Notice that boat is where their boat was in the movie. And after the scene concluded, they broke out of the wall there of the restaurant, kind of in the center, and climbed aboard that speedboat and took off. I turned around to put things in better perspective. The boat would have sped out that way. They made it seem like they were going right out into the ocean, but in reality over there across the way is US Highway 1. Looking at the screenshot a little further, the boat would have been tucked away pretty close up here to the corner. And then Timothy got out of the boat, walked along the dock, and in through that door. You can make out an open sign and there was a lady standing right here as he passed by and notice the two windows different but those match up those were actually boxed in in the movie it's dark in here but bear with me to the left is the door that james bond walked through timothy dalton and he went over and met carrie lowell in about that corner now this bar wasn't here nothing was here same room different layout but this is where they filmed. And from this screenshot, you can make out this Marathon gas station right behind Timothy as he's coming out that shotgun blasted hole. It would have been to the left of the center there. Notice that beam in the center next to the no smoking sign? It would have been right there. Check out the screenshot. I love how nothing has changed here. Notice the marina building to the left, still the same color. Painted a little differently, but still the same color. There's also a little Marathon gas station here for the boats. So cool. Bone, James Bond. 707 South White Street, Felix Leiter's house. And this is where those wedding scenes went down and where Priscilla Barnes, which was Felix's wife, they had just got married. But this is where she was killed as well. And you see several scenes throughout the movie, the beginning of the movie right here, and including this walkway. James Bond, Timothy Dalton, walked down this sidewalk towards us, hopped that fence, and went in behind the house into the murder scene. Here's a screenshot from the movie of James walking up the steps to the front door. Notice that these columns to the left and to the right are the same. The doors change, but you can definitely make out that that's the same steps. Look at that. 1989 or 88 when it was filmed and today 
Now this fence has changed, it's newer and it's taller, but James would have parked right down there to the right and hopped this fence, I'd say about one, two, three, four sections to the end of the property there is where he hopped the fence. Felix Leiter was James Bond's best friend and he was played by David Hedison and David Hedison also played Felix Leiter in Live and Let Die starring Roger Moore as James Bond. That's one of my favorite Bond movies too. Who's your favorite Bond? Comment below who your favorite Bond is. It's a toss up for me. I love Connery, love Roger Moore and Daniel Craig, like him too. I think uh, Skyfall is one of my favorite Bond movies now. It's becoming one of my favorites. Right in front of the Key West International Airport sits the remains, now museum, a Fort East Martello Museum. And you can clearly make this out in the background of License to Kill when James Bond, Timothy Dalton, was standing in front of the airport. Since 1989, they constructed this parking lot and it sits in between the fort and the airport, but if you look at these jagged edged walls, they're kind of, you don't see that every day, they're oddly shaped. But if you look at that, and that top roof over there, that top, the taller building, you can definitely make that out behind them. I'm about to go over to the airport because I'm ditching my scooter for a couple hours because the next filming location is on the Seven Mile Bridge, and that's far from here, so I need a car. It's no Aston Martin, but I definitely found a new horsey. Oh yeah. We got about a 42 minute ride of Highway 1 to the Seven Mile Bridge. Of course, I've got Gladys Knight seeing License to Kill from the movie. Oh, oh, no, wait. Copyright. Can't play that. Welcome to the southernmost point of Marathon Key, where the Seven Mile Bridge begins going south. I had to park the Stang on the side of the road just before the Seven Mile Bridge heading back south because the park is closed where the License to Kill filming location was. And I'll explain once I get up there. I'm going to walk up here. i got to be quick. But this is a construction site. Currently, they're restoring the old Seven Mile Bridge. Look at that water. It is gorgeous. Wow, aqua. See, it's not even sunny. If it was sunny, know, right? it would be even better. So this trail right here leads out to the Seven Mile Bridge, the old Seven Mile Bridge. And before this was put here, this structure, it's temporary for the construction site you would be able to see straight out to Seven Mile Bridge. And this is where the Coast Guard, the United States Coast Guard helicopter landed and picked up the guys as they went to bust Franz Sanchez. At two minutes and five seconds, this camera angle shows Sharky and Bond there. And behind them, you can make out the island or a couple of islands. So here's about the best I could recreate that camera angle today. Right over James' shoulder, you can make out the tip of the shore. See the little rocky point that comes out there? And then directly behind that, that yellow building. And to the left of Sharky, some of those islands can be seen too. So yeah, this was my clue, and this confirmed that this is where this scene went down. Right here, alongside Highway 1, southbound to Key West, right before the Seven Mile Bridge. It's a loud motorcycle. Took off down there. This is the spot. The parking lot. Where Felix and James jumped aboard the helicopter. I didn't rent a car and come this far to give up. I'm gonna walk down along this trail here, along the water, and see if I can give you a better angle. Standing right before the old Seven Mile Bridge, and look how awesome it looks. It is currently being restored. And this is as close as we're gonna get. License to Kill, 1989, 007 James Bond. The bridge where you see the scenes where Sanchez 
gets busted out of the armored car, it actually goes off one of the rails. That was somewhere along this bridge. And True Lies was filmed out here on the Seven Mile Bridge. I immediately turn around, check out all these sandbags, but this is where the scene went down. The helicopter would have landed somewhere right here. The limousine with Felix, Sharky, and Bond back there. And they would have ran up to the Coast Guard helicopter and took off. So beautiful out here. I just kind of want to stay here all day. So nice. I can't though. We gotta continue this video. There's still a couple more filming locations. I didn't know it, but I guess I'm from Michigan. It's also a convertible, but it's very windy up on the bridges. I don't think I'm gonna do that. And besides, I'd lose my hat. So there you go. There's the seven mile bridge beginning right there. Notice the power lines crossing across the new bridge. You can make those out in the background as the helicopter's taken off and also the highest point of this bridge can be seen in the screenshot in the background as well. That was my other clues. I wish I had a dozen dozen. And right behind the old town cock train. It's Ernest Hemingway's old place. Welcome back to the Ernest Hemingway home and Museum, 907 East Whitehead Street. This is where James Bond had his license to kill revoked. So the scene begins here as Bond's walking past Ernest Hemingway's house. He's stopped by members of the British Secret Service. It's where it ends, Commander Bond. This is where it ends, Commander Bond, is what that gentleman says to Bond right there. I would have been standing right here. You can notice a plaque in the movie that used to hang right there. A couple seconds more into the scene, you get a better shot of the front entrance of the Hemingway house. Notice the sign there. The sign would have been right there. Another cool fact, notice how the gate hinges on this side? They changed it, look. This gate is now on this side, but it is the same gate. You can see it clearly in the video, the same design. M would have been standing up on that top deck center looking down at Bond beyond the main entrance. Hemingway's six-toed cats. These cats have six toes on each foot. They're polydactyl. That's what they're called. They're my friends. I was here yesterday. It's good to see you guys again. It's good to see you all. This one's taking a cat nap. Now, if you want to see a little bit more of this house, check out my last video that I came here. It'll be at the end of the video, but yeah. Just showing the filming locations, the license to kill right now. So James comes up to the second story of the home and he would have came up this staircase. There's actually a cat that jumps off the railing here, a yellow cat, as they're coming up the stairs. And you can make out this here, this railing, and this railing too. And you see them come up here and they turn this way and this guy points to come this direction and it appears that they walk this way but in reality, that's impossible because it doesn't go all the way around. Movie magic. And they approach M from the angle like they were coming this way up towards him. But in reality, M was standing down on this side of the house around this side of the building. I came to the bottom of the staircase to help put things in perspective. James Bond would have walked right up there. Notice there's a cat over there feasting. But yeah, here's the bottom of that staircase. They would have walked up right here. Bond is walking through the front gate. M is looking down. The cat is released from his hand. Notice the railing has changed, but this is about the same angle where that went down. Notice the sidewalk, the shape of the sidewalk and the entrance, and Bond right there in the doorway. Focus. There you go, right here. M was standing right there. And this one's dedicated to all those James Bond fans out there. Welcome to the very exact spot where M revoked James Bond 007's license to kill. That happened right here on the second story deck of Ernest Hemingway's home. So as Bond is walking towards M here, you can make out the Key West lighthouse in the background. That's where that sniper is who later takes a shot at Bond after he jumps off the balcony. There's the lighthouse today. 
and no one's up there currently. Notice there's a cage there where the sniper is. That is long gone. There's no cage on the observation deck. But that's the same lighthouse. So by this screenshot, when M is standing right here, Bond is standing where I am, you can tell that the roof of the Ernest Hemingway home has been reinforced. There's only one black pipe there. That same black pipe there. But a green one there. Actually, that might be a gutter. Yeah, that's a gutter. I think I've discovered some more movie magic. Notice the black poles behind Bond. There's one right behind his head. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So Bond would have been standing right here, but there's almost two more poles where M was standing. They moved him up to shoot back this way so the camera would have more room. That is my prediction. So M was standing there when the camera was looking this way. But in reality, Bond was standing all the way back here. Or, I could be totally wrong and it just looks like he's back up against that railing and could have been standing right here. Either way, cool to think about. But this is where it went down, where James Bond had his license to kill revoked. I guess it's farewell to arms. Right here. Bam! Stop. Oh man, he jumps over the rail right there. Runs off that way. This area right here is where M revoked Bond's license to kill, and he would have jumped off the railing down to where this present day bush is and ran off this way as the sniper took a shot at him. You can't see it because of the tree. Took a shot at him from across the street there, and this will be my exit of the Ernest Hemingway house. Oh. That's my exit song. Oh yeah, there you are. Right where I left you. I'm gonna miss you. Welcome back to Mallory Square. Welcome if it's your first time for our next filming location. This is where it went down. Oh wait, there's actually a welcome to Mallory Square sign over there. Now I gotta show that. Welcome to Mallory Square. There you go. I'm gonna walk right through the square to the other side. The scene begins as Bond and Hawkins are walking right past the shell house, kind of coming this way. Notice this building here to the left. It says Old Town Trolley. They still own it, but it's changed. Right there's the shell warehouse. Okay, the conk tour train pulled back around. It's very cool to see that these carts haven't changed in over 30 years. Look at that. They've been standing right here. You can make out this building to the left in the background too, right there. But yeah. So cool. Okay, when you pause it at this angle, look, you can make out this monument in the bush on the right of the screen in front of that lady. Look, that's the Mallory Square placard. Still a bush right there. Notice this roof here behind Hawkins and the roof of the building behind Vaughn. This fountain would have been about where they were standing back in 1989. Don't think that was there. Or they would have been standing at it, but you can definitely make out those two roofs right there. One there, one there. And then of course you've got the Shell Warehouse and the Conk Train. All lines up today, that's pretty good. And the trees are where they used to be. I don't think those are the same trees. They've probably been replanted, but that is the end of the scene here as Hawkins warns Vaughn not to pursue Sanchez. This is a spot where Hawkins says, you know, we have laws in this country too. He says it to Vaughn. Vaughn says, do they have laws against what they did to Leiter? Felix, and then he walked off this way. He would have exited Mallory Square the way we came in. And the next scene was the Hemingway house where he had his license to kill revoked by him. But yeah, very cool to be back in Mallory Square, as you notice, not a lot of people. There are some people, there's like a little kid like doing maracas behind me as I was trying to film this. Sorry about that. <laughs> but yeah. You can hear the roosters. Now all the plane scenes and the water scenes were filmed off the coast of Key West somewhere. If I had a boat, we'd go track them down too, but I don't have a boat. Maybe one day. Maybe I'll get a plane. That might be better. It's been an awesome day of filming locations. We're gonna end this video. Turn this Mustang back in. Good horsey.
Good horsey, you have done your duty. You did a good job. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, give it one of these bad boys right down there. If it was your first time watching one of my filming locations videos, feel free to check out my filming locations playlist on my YouTube channel. And if you've been tagging along for a long time, thank you too. Thanks to everyone for watching. I always appreciate it. I have such a great time tracking down filming locations and just making videos in general. So I am a blessed man. Motorcycle. Thanks guys. I appreciate you. I'll see you next time. Whether it's here in Key West, Tampa Bay, anywhere in Florida or beyond, there's much ahead. I gotta fill her up before I drop her back off, but check this out. That's so cool. It's coming from the handle. Oh man. Goodbye, my love. Bye bye. <laughs> there she is. Waiting for me all day. The airport parking lot. I wouldn't trade her for the world, just for a Mustang.